Hej och välkomna till Didaktiska laboratoriet. Mitt namn är Feke och den här kanalen är för oss som är intresserade av skolfrågor, skolforskning och det jag delar med mig av mina erfarenheter som undervisande lärare och kvalitetssamordnare på ett gymnasium här i, i södra Norrland. Den här filmen är del två i en serie av intervjuer där jag träffar olika yrkesroller på skolan där jag arbetar med syftet att vi ska dela med oss av våra respektive olika erfarenheter vad vi gör för någonting i vårt yrke och de utmaningar och möjligheter som finns i skolans värld. I den här filmen kommer vi då träffa en specialpedagog som heter Richard och det är min stora glädje att få presentera honom här. Varmt välkomna! Hej och välkomna till Didaktiska laboratoriet. Mitt namn är Feke och den här kanalen är för oss som är intresserade av skolforskning och mina erfarenheter av att arbeta just inom gymnasieskolan. Idag så kommer vi ha en ytterligare intervju och den här kommer då genomföras på engelska. Så jag kommer ta och byta över nu och därmed säga Welcome Richard! Thank you very much. Okay. So, um, you originally come from Ipswich and you've been working in Sweden for quite some time. Yeah. And uh, this is for me a great opportunity to get to know, I mean, more about your background and what you do. Okay. And also for the viewers out there to know mm -hmm. what a special education teacher or special lärare Mm -hmm. does at a uh, senior high school. Yep. Uh, so please introduce yourself. Well, I'm Richard Ewan. I come from Ipswich, as Fake mentioned, yeah. and my teaching background is that I've had, I think it's, it was 10, 11 years working in England mm -hmm. as both a history and an English teacher, not a special teacher in any way. And then I moved to Sweden in the early 2000s to a Hugstadia in the south of Stockholm, right. where I was there for two years, then went back to England for a year and then I came back to another Hugstadia in the north of Stockholm, in Jakobsberg, yeah. which was a wonderful school, which mm -hmm. I have very fond memories of, and then back in England for a couple of years and okay. then came back to Sweden because we wanted to and ended up in Jävla because there was a job there at the mm -hmm. Engelska school and in Jävla, so. mm. and I was there for seven years as um, an English teacher and head of English actually mm -hmm. for five of those I think. Okay. And then I decided to change and I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to do something different. So yeah. here I am at Bessemer School and as a special okay. lover. All right. Yeah. Mm. And what was the original reason that you wanted to work abroad? Um, just because I got to a certain age in my mid thirties, and I yeah. thought if I don't do it now, I never will. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. No, but I understand yeah. that sort of midlife crisis. Sort of makes <laughs> yeah. I was young then. I was a midwife now. Um, no, I, no, it was literally like that. So I applied for jobs all over the place mm. and got one in Sweden. Okay. And thought Sweden, that's not so bad. It no. would be quite nice. Yeah. 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 So here I am. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. So could you please inform me about what it's like working as a special education teacher, what does one do? Um, what does one do? What is needed is a simple answer. Okay. I mean, at the start of the term, I don't have an official timetable mm -hmm. and I talk with English teachers and see what is needed. Mm. We see, I guess they have to, yeah, they have to look and see what's needed in their classes. Okay. Often with the um, year one students, English five mm -hmm. is where most of my work is. Right. And see where the need is. And, and also, I mean, Sometimes it's just practical because mm -hmm. I can't be in two places at once. No. So I can. I mean, I'm with. I think it's eleven classes at the moment during okay. the week. Okay. So it's quite a lot. So over over mm. the course of a week, you mm. visit eleven different yep. classes. Yep. Meaning, most certainly, a few different teachers as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Five or six. Yeah, definitely. Maybe more. What are, this is curious to me, as you know, since I teach English as well. What's mm. the, or right, what? How should I put it? What sort of different experiences have you gathered from seeing all of these <laughs> these professionals at work? Um, very different from super organized and efficient to not very well organized at all. <laughs> okay, so, all right. Names. Yeah. Yeah. And that also depends, is dependent on what I do. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes I will do more than 
I'm not saying that I'm meant to do, mm-hmm. but sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm not really just being a special layer and being another classroom teacher, which I don't mind sometimes because it's quite nice mm. being in charge a little bit. So, yeah. And, and you mentioned that the, the role that you have mm-hmm. is to, to approach all of the different needs that might occur in, mm-hmm. in the classes. And how, how can, what sort of different needs could those be? Could you, if you give me a few examples of um, what you're meant to do? It could be, I mean, help with all the different areas of English from speaking, writing. A lot of uh-huh. it, I find, is confidence. Okay. So, I mean, as we all find it a bit difficult sometimes to talk in front of a group, it mm-hmm. may be taking students on their own in small yeah. groups, getting them to talk in, on their own, mm-hmm. that sort of thing. Um, it can be, I mean, sort of a whole class experience sometimes as right. well. So, and that I find useful as well. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, it sounds a bit um, flippant, but it could be anything, really. Okay. I mean, from a day to day experience, which is, I like that. Really. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you never know what's going to happen. No, I can imagine that the variety must be yeah. refreshing. It is refreshing. That's yeah. a good word for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So. Um, and then if we look at it from a from your perspective, how, mm-hmm. how much preparation do you need to to do before you enter a class, or um, if if you would if okay, let me put it like this: both pre- preparation and the preparatory work, but also in general, do you do you need to do paperwork? What kind of well, do I do, do I there? do actually have two of my own classes this year, which is a bit of a that's right a different um, thing. Yeah. So I mean, I have to separate that from being a special letter. So. Uh-huh. Obviously, I do have to prepare for those with lesson planning and grading and things, mm-hmm. but um, it depends on the class. I mean, there are certain teachers mm-hmm. um, who I will help with grading, Sam Bidumning, Yeah, that would help. Help with planning sometimes. Mm-hmm. Not, yeah, but occasionally it would be like, this is them speaking to me, can you do yeah. a lesson? Sometimes it would okay. be, can you have a look at this? And sometimes mm-hmm. I don't know what on earth is going to happen in the lesson. All right, so, okay. Which is fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, so it, so it can be from zero to a me planning it 100%. So mm-hmm, it can mm-hmm. be varied. So. Okay, okay. So that's also Often of a varied nature. Yeah, usually then. somewhere in the middle of that. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, if, we, if we look at it from an organizational perspective, then, if you look at the way that your, your boss helps you, mm-hmm. um, what, what are you told from your boss mm-hmm. and... Um, what are you meant to do in terms of the, the school on its entire level? Because I mean, you, you talked about the fact that you enter different classes, but what does your boss tell you? Like, does, um, does he or she order you to now enter that class or, or how does it work? It, it doesn't work that sort of strictly. I mean, I, I think um, he trusts me and the other special learners mm-hmm. and we're not sort of, he's not on our shoulders the whole time. Yeah. But we are, it is suggested that we're in whole classes rather than individual students. Yeah. Just because of time and mm-hmm. resources, it's better to be with a whole so class than individual Resource students. efficiency. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any individual students this year. Yeah. Which I've had in the past, but uh-huh. now it's just whole classes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And and if you if you would, I mean, here we're talking freely. Mm-hmm. If uh, if you would give any sort of recommendation to a school board, let's mm-hmm. say that we have a school that has not yet accomplished a efficient and and effective way of, of giving students the, the need they or mm-hmm. helping them with the needs they have. Yeah. What could you tell a a member of the school board? This is what you should focus on. What kind of recommendations could you Ooh, give? Heck, that's the question. <laughs> um, just being aware of all your students, if uh-huh. you can, and teachers talking to each other. And in my case, um, teachers yeah. talking to the special learner in English, so mm-hmm. I'm aware of things and if I can help. Mm-hmm. The communication is it's a, you know, key in a lot of things. Yeah. So that would be what I would recommend mm. initially. Um, you know, uh, using me as a special learner in English when, when you need it. Yeah. Because some people don't like having other teachers in the class, mm-hmm. which I understand, but you know, yeah. don't, be, don't worry about that, so that sort of thing. But that is a, a, a peculiar notion. Um, yeah. In my in my case, I, I mean, we work together mm-hmm. um, frequently, yeah. and because of that, I, I find a, a sense of, of security having another yeah. professional in the classroom mm-hmm. as well. It's not that I feel that I'm not able to, but it, it really does improve the quality of my work. Yeah, I think so too. Um, but from from your experiences, what what do you gather are the reasons people 
would then, or teachers would not invite someone else? Um, you'd have to ask them. But, um, <laughs> maybe, I mean, they feel a bit insecure. There's another okay. adult on there. Maybe they think what they're doing isn't that great, or I don't okay. know, it's just sort of stage fright. Mm -hmm. Simply, I, I do understand it because yeah. of the boot was on the other shoe, I might feel a bit like that myself. Mm -hmm. But having worked with you and one or two other teachers who I've worked with, yeah. I know how useful it is. Mm -hmm. It's good just to have another adult in there and Absolutely. To talk about what you're doing, what you've done, what's going yeah. on at that time. I think mm -hmm. it's a really good thing. It's, I agree. It's, it's, uh, yeah, I think so. so. Um, but speaking of, of, of those sort of ideas and both of the positive sides here and then, but also the potential well, negatives as well, um, what would you say are the possibilities and the, and the pitfalls in your line of work? Um, possibilities, good things is, as you mentioned, variety. Yeah. Um, less paperwork, that's yeah. a good thing. Okay. You know, I'm not a mentor at this school, which yeah. I've, you know, I have been before in my previous school, uh -huh. and that takes up a lot of time. Right. Although you then have students you might have to do a bit of paperwork about who are yeah. going to be a mentor. What kind of paperwork is required in your as, as a special um, education teacher? Yeah, obviously not really paperwork these days, but um, there's a special system we have here, Pro Renata, where you yeah. register interesting things about students, you know, uh -huh. progress they've made or, yeah. you know, I haven't been able to see so-and-so for so many weeks because they haven't okay. been in school or mm -hmm. any other concerns really. So yeah. that, but it means not anything too major. It's, just, All right. it's not something we have to do every day, you just have to update it. Okay. So, and especially as I'm with a class most of the time, it's not specific to individual students, but mm -hmm. we do have to do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that really, that's yeah. the major one. So Other possibilities apart from, I mean, paperwork and... Oh, um, in, in a positive way, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, say variety and, um, you know, being able to help teachers as mm -hmm. well. It's a, it's a nice thing to mm -hmm. do if you feel, oh, you know, and you, yeah. get, you get thanked sometimes. And it's, mm -hmm. it's quite nice to be thanked. Someone will just say thanks for being nice and you think, Oh, really? <laughs> thanks. No, it is nice to be Yeah, yeah, of well. course. You know, and sometimes... Um, it's always great to feel needed yeah, and it is. appreciated. Absolutely. Yeah, that is a really nice thing. Yeah. And sometimes it's quite nice to be in a class but not be in charge of the class and the, yeah. utter, the, the mm -hmm. ultimate responsibility doesn't lie with you. Right. And um, what I was saying is the um, yeah. one thing I find quite awkward sometimes is mm -hmm. because I go in so many classes, mm -hmm. not remembering students' names. <laughs> Seriously, because you're still no, there and you think, you know, I've been here every week for how many times and mm -hmm. oh god, I can't remember your name. Yeah. That, that can be a pitfall, which mm -hmm. you, know, you don't get when you have your own classes, because obviously you know their names, that sort of thing. What, um, is, what is it like as a special education teacher when building relationships with students? Um, usually pretty good, I'd say. Yeah. I'm not, you know, it's not sort of, hey, this is Richard, he's the special lehrer, he's yeah. come to help you through uh -huh. any difficulty. It's just sort of that I'm in the lessons, mm. that thing. And usually it's positive. I like to think I'm quite a cheerful kind of guy and get yeah. on with most people. So, yeah, yeah I mean, 90% of the time it's a positive relationship, I mm -hmm. think. So. And a lot of students, it being um, English, I think, uh, Gen generally mm -hmm. and genuinely mm -hmm. um, positive about English. They like yeah. to speak or to mm -hmm. show off how good their English is. So but I, I, I can notice that mm -hmm. as well when, yeah. let's say, we're walking down the, the corridors mm -hmm. in school and students randomly uh, walk up to you and, and you know, mm -hmm. strike a conversation in they English. Yeah. Obviously, they, they seem keen on wanting to, yeah, they do. to to speak with you. Yeah, which is nice, really, yeah. most of the time. So. Right. As long as they're not calling me mate. Or <laughs> which, <laughs> which they do. Have, which they which do. They which do. Really yeah, yeah. And then I go home and I realise, yeah, I do say mate. So they're not, they're not um, stereotyping me too much. It's no. actually the truth. So. <laughs> no, but you're right. It is nice. Yeah. You know, and uh -huh. they, they will most of the time just speak in English to me, which is good. Because yeah. this isn't, you know, like previous schools of mine, which were meant to be English schools. This mm -hmm. is a normal Swedish school. Yeah. You know, Swedish is the language of the school. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. um, so I know that you've had a, both a knack and an interest in, in drama. Okay. I, know that, I know that you, whenever you hold lessons of your own, <laughs> that you try to include mm. drama somehow. If possible, yeah. Could you tell me a little bit more about that, why that's the case? Um, why I like to. Um, yeah. I, I like drama. I, I was going to say, I like the drama. Um, <laughs> I, I found it doesn't always work, as you can imagine, but sometimes students mm -hmm. are better at being other people than themselves. Mm -hmm. So rather than saying, 
okay, can you read this? Can you be yeah, somebody okay, else? It okay. doesn't And then you act it out. Yeah, yeah. Instead, and it's, yeah. for want of a, for want of being far too simplistic, it's usually quite good fun. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's the reason for doing okay, it. Okay, all right. Yeah, will... But do you have a, a, a private interest of, in, in drama um, that, you, that you've performed yourself in the past? Or um, I, have, I mean, many, many years ago when I was at school, I was in school plays. And okay. In my last school, I, um, yeah, that's what I did. I wrote three plays or adapted mm. three plays and produced, directed them, sold all okay. the tickets, that sort of thing. So <laughs> a lot. So yeah, I mean, I do, I do have an interest. It's a yeah. It's a tremendous buzz. Mm-hmm. I've seen it with. Um, also, you know, I, I'm quite good at what's the word I need to use here? Um, encouraging yeah. students who might not necessarily be into it to right. perform, because I've seen them bring brilliant English and mm-hmm. perhaps performing a little bit in uh, lessons. Mm-hmm. And then there's a question of bravery then, yeah, yeah, so that a, they that yeah. they might find that it's a hurdle to pass when yeah. when speaking, as you mentioned. Or, yeah performing in a sense. Yeah, and I mean, in the case of the last um, drama that I did at my old school, I mean, you're talking yeah. 450 people in the audience. All right. Some of those students, like, yeah, you know, that was pretty impressive stuff. Absolutely. So, yeah, singing, dancing, speaking, all in English as well. Uh-huh. So, yeah, okay. so that was good. Hmm. Um, could you tell me a little bit about what you currently let's say that you're passionate about when it comes to to school work or working in school what, um, what have you been what's been on your table lately <laughs> what am i passionate about i'm, yeah. I'm going to probably speak in generalizations here but okay i mean it's you know getting a good response from the students mm-hmm. that sort of thing mm-hmm. um, can be individually or as a whole class i mean mm-hmm. i took a lesson the other week and with a whole class because the teacher wasn't there and okay i think it went quite well they seem yeah. to quite enjoy it that yeah. sort of thing um perhaps in that case it's doing something slightly different because it might be a one-off lesson but mm-hmm. in, in the relationship of being a, a special layer it would, it would be seeing a student or students succeed yeah where and in one or two cases I know they've never succeeded before in English, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. going from being, um, you know, speaking English or writing mm-hmm. English is the worst thing in the world yeah. to realising they're actually not that bad at it. Right. That would be a passion. So. And mm. how does one go about that? Because you mentioned that mm. you mainly focus on, on, on a group level. Yeah. How do you follow or track or um, survey the way that students develop over time in that sense if you mm. mainly work on a group level that's a good question um, I was referring specifically then earlier to students I did have as individual students oh, okay. before All right. but um, yeah, I'm not saying I write everything down but I mean yeah. I like to think I'm aware of mm-hmm. students I need to be aware mm-hmm. of within mm-hmm. the class to see their progress mm-hmm. and um, obviously talking with a class teacher as well. Yeah, I mean in like in my classes you mm-hmm. you target certain yeah. students in a more prominent way as possible. Of course yeah. naturally yeah. there's some subtlety <laughs> yeah. involved here. Mm-hmm. I mean uh, uh, approaching them yeah, yeah. and talking yeah. with them and yeah. helping them in, in that manner mm-hmm. But I also know that you specifically target students where we know that there are yeah. certain needs that need to yeah, be addressed yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, but I mean that Tends to work as I say, I think you and I are going to do it fairly subtly and I, I, correct me if I'm wrong here. I mean, sometimes yeah. they might be aware of this happening. Yeah, of course. Both, I mean, I inform them. Yeah, I don't think they seem to mind. Too no, much, no. So. I, I, as as the mm. class teacher, I feel that it's my responsibility to tell the student that, all right, I see that yeah. you might need some help mm-hmm. in this particular area or this yeah, certain yeah. area, mm-hmm. and that we are going to help you become better at it. Yeah. And Richard is is the one who is best mm-hmm. able to do that yeah. and to help them. Yeah. I mean, it's as, it's as um, simple. I'll come down and sit next to them and say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you now. Yeah. And one advantage of being older is being, I think there's a certain way you're, as an older person, mm-hmm. you're less inhibited. Okay. And also, perhaps, uh, threatening is a terrible word to use, but you know <laughs> okay. what I mean? I, I, yeah, think, no, I don't I think people sort of see you as, they know what you're doing, you know. It's this sort of thing. So but I, 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 can, I can understand that there's mm. a certain level of, in, of intimidation as I am the one who will eventually assess yeah, their knowledge, that, that the whereas well. you mm. do not have to assess no, their skills and the abilities. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. that helps as well, definitely. Mm. So you're, you're, I'm someone different and uh, yeah. 
that could help. I mean, they know we will communicate. But, Absolutely. But also, it's a way. You know, you can't be with every single student all the time. No, so no, you know, no. you, it's good for me to be able to target mm -hmm. students and. Of course. Have them report back to you as well. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, we don't beat about the about the bush and the mm -hmm. fact that we discuss. Their, their knowledge yeah. development and so Absolutely. on, but, but I do think there's a difference between what I, in my role, am yeah. supposed to do and what you're supposed mm -hmm. to do, and the students are aware of that yeah. as well, yeah. I'm certain. I think so, I think they'll work. I mean, and also in the case of your classes, they will be English 7 classes, the most yeah. advanced ones, and mm -hmm. that's worth mentioning as well. I don't just work with the new students who are doing English 5, mm -hmm. I will work with students in English 6 and English 7 as well. So. Yeah which is a great thing as well because I wouldn't want to just be with one year mm -hmm. and you also see them progress through the school then as well Definitely. which is really nice so. yeah mm -hmm. for sure yeah. um, on, the, on the, the final note then mm -hmm. um, for those viewers out there who would be interested in becoming a special education mm -hmm. teacher what kind of um, recommendations could you give to them um, what recommendation? Do you, do you mean as why it's a good job? Or? For example, or yeah. like this is what you should consider, or if you're if you're into yeah. this, you could assume um, this would happen, or if you are someone who is very flexible, yeah, and can cope with not always being in charge the whole mm -hmm. time, uh, although you might be at other times. Um, yeah, from my point of view, it was. S simple up to a point. It, it was a nice change. I mean, I, I was I was glad not just to go from being mm. a normal classroom teacher mm -hmm. to being a normal classroom teacher somewhere else. Having a different role was nice. Yeah, it was different. Mm -hmm. you know? I, I feel very positive about that. Okay. And yet, still having some of the same responsibilities and mm. also. Um, a really, really good thing is, as I mentioned earlier, being thanked by teachers. You feel mm. respected and needed, mm -hmm. which you don't, you know, in, in another, you know, a normal classroom teacher, you might be on your own 90% yeah. of the time, and it's just you, you think, yeah, that was a nice <laughs> lesson, but to be told by someone else is right. great, so that's, no, a, that's, true. That's, that's a reason to do it, so, mm. yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Och eh, tack för er som tittat på den här filmen. Ni får jättegärna mm. höra av er till antingen mig eller Richard. Det kan ni göra bland annat genom att ge den här filmen en tummen upp. Eller dela den med någon som ni tror skulle tycka det var intressant att lära sig mer om hur det funkar att vara till exempel speciallärare. Mm. Eller ni kan lämna en vänlig kommentar nedanför. Tack så jättemycket mm. för att ni tittade. Thank you once again. Thank you. Tack så mycket. All right. Hej då. Hej då.